For the past 10 years, the Resilience National Science Challenge, RNC, has brought together researchers and research users from around the country to better understand our hazards and build our resilience. We were quite fragmented as a country before the science challenges were developed. RNC gave us a great opportunity to bring that full national capacity together to bear on the challenge of resilience in the face of natural hazards for a full decade of really solid research. New Zealand needs this work. Because we are so disaster prone and because we need to be always keeping an eye on the ball when it comes to resilience in our networks and in our infrastructure and in our communities. Over the past decade, many events have tested our resilience, particularly the magnitude 7.8 Kaikoura earthquake. Our researchers partnered with infrastructure agencies to study the disruption and identify lessons to build future resilience. There's a real partnership that's developed between science and engineering communities, recognising that science absolutely is a, is a key part of the response and the recovery processes. You know, good science at the right time can help us make better decisions which have benefits in the longer term. RNC brought together hundreds of researchers from different organisations and science disciplines. Risk modellers to volcanologists to geoscientists to social scientists such as myself and health scientists can all interweave together and produce work that complements each other's science to produce outcomes that are going to have wider impact. I think one of the real strengths of RNC has been to bring people from not just research, but the people who are using that research and that knowledge to make change together. The AF8 programme is a great example of collaboration to prepare South Island communities for the next Alpine Fault earthquake. So the South Island, you know, dominated by the Alpine Fault hazard, we knew that there were risks and we wanted uh, to engage a lot more closely with people who needed to know about that. It's this amazing collaboration between scientific research, uh, emergency management practice and policy and all coming together as a, a big joint mission. With RNC's long-term funding stability, it's been able to support much of the science programme that's underpinned uh, the AF8 initiative. Communicating the potential impact of an event, such as flooded roads or power outages, is more meaningful and helps people take action. I'm really proud of the way that our research has fed into um, Met Services' new warning system. So with the introduction of red weather warnings, the impacts of the event can be better communicated. Our social scientists contributed to education initiatives to help people prepare. So we worked a lot with the National Emergency Management Agency on shakeout, where you drop, cover and hold or practice your tsunami hikoi. If you do those drills, we know that people are more likely to undertake those actions in a real event. It's going to save lives, it's going to prevent injuries and those types of things. Earthquakes and tsunami have the potential to cause huge disruption. By looking to the past, RNC researchers have been able to glimpse into the future. One challenge preparing for the next great earthquake, the next great tsunami, is we don't know what it's going to look like. We haven't seen what's going to happen next yet in human history. The work we did allows us to use large-scale computer simulators to create hundreds of thousands of years of earthquakes to try to see what the next one might be like and to prepare for the range of possibilities. What we're doing is relevant for all New Zealanders. Over five years, RNC researchers completed a detailed stocktake of New Zealand's coastal erosion, a critical resource for understanding and preparing for future coastal change. We were given the opportunity through RNC to develop a national database of coastal change over the last 80 years, so that's involved more than 50 researchers, most of them students. It's a really key, important baseline data set of coastal change for the country. Kaupapa Māori researchers partnered with iwi and hapu to enhance Māori resilience. RNC has been really meaningful for not only science and research, but the connection out with communities, in particular with mana whenua. So having access to scientists who can provide robust information for communities to support decision-making has been 
are fantastic. RNC fostered a supportive cohort of Māori researchers promoting collaboration, mentorship and growth. I really appreciate the opportunity to gather with other Māori researchers. There are very few of us. The opportunity to gather and network has been amazing. What RNC has enabled um, has allowed um, power to be shared and the opportunity to grow. One of our greatest powers has been Whanaungatanga. That Whanaungatanga has been at the very core um, what makes us Māori and it's relational. It creates those connections and that foundation for us to find the best ways to work together, spread across the country, in different disciplines, with different ways of working and different ideas of what mātauranga and science are, and we've come together in the one whare to wānanga. It's really enabled us to be able to come together, to be supported by a centralised system that wants to enhance and celebrate mātauranga Māori, um, which I think has been a huge game changer for Māori communities because it's also meant that we've been able to determine what's vital and what's necessary research for us. RNC supported over 200 students developing the next generation of natural hazard experts. RNC has really provided me a way in, I suppose, a foot in the door. And from that, so many more opportunities have come up from RNC. So I think RNC, to me, is a great network of opportunities, resource, and just people in general. The capability development that RNC has managed to accumulate over the last 10 years has been phenomenal. And when you look at some of our students and where they've ended up and the contributions they're now making, it's just so, uh, so important. Over our 10-year research journey, we've developed a significant body of knowledge on natural hazard resilience. This information has helped decision makers at all levels make good choices to reduce their risks and boost their resilience. The severity and frequency of many of those weather-related events is going to get worse. We live in a really active plate boundary. We're going to have earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunami. The science is at the heart of trying to understand how best do we live amongst these hazards. We can find better ways of thinking about what we're building and where we're building it so that there will be fewer impacts, less disruption and less trauma for our communities in the future. RNC has demonstrated the importance of collaboration in adapting to the hazards we face. Together, we've delivered solutions to boost our resilience. The Natural Hazards and Resilience Platform will continue this important work.